Today we're going to be looking at the relativistic addition of velocities. So classical physics says that if we have a banana and we throw it forward at 0.6 times the speed of light, and very fast, out of a car travelling at 0.6 times the speed of light, then the banana would appear to be travelling at 1.2 times the speed of light to a stationary observer. Uh, so that's adding the two velocities together, the uh, cumulative velocity would appear would appear to be faster than the speed of light, which uh, isn't possible. So Einstein modified the addition of velocities to satisfy special relativity. He came up with this this uh, formula here. Now just a note on notation: this uh, when we've got a b here, this velocity of a relative to b. So that means that's the velocity of of an object a travelling um, relative to b, as if b was stationary. Uh, and, and, and observing A moving. So, for example, um, if a person was running alongside, uh, two people were running alongside each other, one person was running at uh, 10 kilometres an hour and the other one at 15 kilometres an hour, um, and the first person was person A running at 10 kilometres an hour, and the second person was person B running at 15 kilometres an hour, the velocity of A relative to B would appear to be negative 5, negative 5 kilometres per hour as the, as the B, the second person, pulling away 5 kilometres an hour faster, it would appear to B, the observer B, that A was moving at 5 kilometres an hour in the opposite direction. So here we've got velocity of A. This is a velocity of A relative to the Earth or rel relative to um, this, a stationary reference frame, a stationary reference frame for both A and B. So the velocity of A relative to the stationary reference frame and velocity of B relative to the stationary reference frame um, divided by one minus these two velocities multiplied together divided by C squared. So just a note, that um, the velocity of A relative to B is equal to the negative of the velocity of B relative to A. So if we were looking at our two runners, our runner B pulling ahead at 15 kilometres an hour and our, our uh, runner A lagging behind at 10 kilometres an hour, the velocity of A relative to B, velocity of A relative to B is negative 5 kilometres an hour. But if we're looking now at the velocity of B, uh, the velocity of B, sorry, relative to A, our runner, um, our runner B relative to A, A is going to see him pulling ahead at 5 kilometres an hour. So it's going to be the negative, the negative situation there. And just, and, but the magnitude of velocity still remains the same. Now we've got two different situations that we could possibly have when we're looking at um, adding velocities um, in in sort of in one dimension, moving uh, only in in one dimension. We've got parallel tracks. Parallel tracks is where we've got two objects moving at at uh, different, perhaps at different velocities in the same direction, um, and here we've got them moving in opposite directions. So that's anti-parallel tracks moving in opposite directions. So just a quick example here, if we've got two spaceships uh, moving towards Earth, uh, one spaceship here is moving, um, and that's a, a spaceship A, uh, is moving at 0.5 times the speed of light relative to Earth, and our velocity B of our, our ship B here is moving at 0.7 uh, times the speed of light relative to Earth. They're, no, they're both positive because they're both, both uh, moving in the same direction. Now, because they're, um, I have arbitrarily chosen this direction to be positive, it could, they could both be negative. Uh, it, it, it is really about defining your reference frame before you start looking at, at, a, at a problem. So in this, in this instance, both of these ships are travelling in this direction toward Earth, and that direction is the positive direction. So the opposite direction would be negative. If any of the values are negative, that means that the, the value we, we would be uh, getting would mean that we're looking at a, a velocity in this direction, the, the opposite direction to the way they're moving. So if we substitute those values into our equation, uh, 0.5c and 0.7c, uh, we notice that the uh, c times c, c squared cancels with the um, denominator of our, of our um, 
equation here and we get the value of negative 0.31c. Now this is for the velocity of A relative to B. So if we're looking at B here, um, the velocity of A relative to B is actually going to be getting closer because you can see this velocity the velocity of B here, 0.7c, higher than 0.5c, means that B is going to be catching up to A. So it means that it appears to be that A is getting closer and closer. And it's at this, this um, amount that it's getting closer and closer, 0.31c. So if he's getting closer and closer, that means to B, it appears that A is moving in the negative direction. This direction, not the positive direction. And that's why we've got a negative value there. If we were looking at the velocity of uh, B relative to A, the velocity of B relative to A, B would, uh, uh, A would see B coming up in the positive direction. So we can see that the negative of this is going to be positive 0.31c. Looking at this anti-parallel tracks example, we've got one of the spaceships moving in this direction. Once again, I've arbitrarily chosen this direction is negative, that direction is positive. So this direction here, our orange ship here, is going in the negative direction, and it's travelling at 0.2c in the negative direction. So negative 0.2c relative to Earth. Our B spaceship here, uh, our purple one, is travelling in the positive direction at 0.9c. So substituting those values into the equation, um, we see we get negative 0.2c minus 0.9c divided by 1 minus negative 0.2 uh, uh, times 0.9. Sorry, I thought I think I might have said 0.1 there. Uh, 0.2 times 0.9. Uh, and the c's, c times c is c squared, and those cancel once again. So we see that by, uh, by working at and calculating this, we get that the velocity of a relative to b is negative 0.93c. That means that b, our spaceship b, perceives our spaceship a travelling in the negative direction, <laughs> negative 0.93c, at a faster velocity um, than, it, than it is travelling. So a couple of examples here. We've got two spacecraft approaching one another on anti-parallel tracks. Anti-parallel means they're coming towards each other. Uh, the first spacecraft is travelling at 0.3c relative to Earth and the second at 0.4c relative to Earth. What is the velocity of the first craft relative to the second craft? So the velocity, if we're going to call them A and B, the velocity of A relative to B. So the velocity of A relative to Earth is 0.3c, and the velocity of B relative to Earth is negative 0.4c. Once again, I've arbitrarily chosen that um, the first spacecraft is travelling in the positive direction, and the second spacecraft is travelling in the negative direction. And we're looking for the velocity of A, the velocity of the first spacecraft, relative to the velocity of B, the second spacecraft. So here, just substituting in values, once again, the value of 0.3c for velocity of A relative to Earth, and negative 0.4c for the velocity of b relative to earth um, and we see we get the value of 0.625c. So that's the velocity of spaceship A relative to spaceship B. So it appears that it's travelling in uh, the velocity of A relative to B. It appears to be that A is travelling at 0.625c um, in the positive direction. Looking at question two, here we've got a lithium nucleus travelling at 0.95c relative to a laboratory um, and it emits a neutron at a velocity of 0.7c relative to itself in that same direction of travel. So the, nuclei, the lithium nucleus is travelling in this direction and then it emits a, uh, a, a neutron at that same, velo uh, that same direction of velocity. So we're talking about parallel tracks here um, moving in the same direction. Um, what when we need to find the velocity of the neutron relative to the laboratory. So here we've got the velocity of A, the velocity of our um, lithium nucleus, velocity of A here, relative to the Earth, the laboratory in this case, 0.95c. Now we've been given the velocity of B, okay, the velocity of our neutron, B, relative to our lithium nucleus, A. So the velocity of B relative to A is 0.7c, same direction, but we need the velocity of A relative to B. So it's going to be the negative of it. So the velocity of A relative to B is negative 0.c. And we're looking for the velocity of B relative to the laboratory, the velocity of our neutron relative to the laboratory. 
so the velocity of b relative to e. So here we substitute in our values, substituting in uh, vab is negative 0.7c here and va is 0.95c for those two variables there. You can see we can cancel one of the c's there, um, but we'll be left with uh, 0.95 vb divided by c. Now we can then multiply this whole term here uh, on, on, on this side by negative 0.7c and that's what we've done here. So we've got negative 0.7c times the 1 um, and negative 0.7c times our minus 0.95 times vb on c. And once again we can cancel those two c's there. Um, here we're left with the term that's on top, negative, uh, sorry, 0.95c minus vb. Uh, we've, we can then uh, add VB to both sides here and also uh, t um, add 0.7C to both sides. So we can get the VB terms together. Um, adding 1 VB to uh, 0.7 times 0.95 VB yields 1.665 VB. And here, 0.95c plus 0.7c is 1.65c. So then dividing both sides by 1.665, uh, we get that the velocity of our um, neutron relative to the laboratory is 0.99c.